For this operation, we will be using the digital scale, rod weighing and rod adapter devices, along with the V8 bob weight set. As we weigh the several components, we will fill out the bob weight card. After all components are considered, the information on the card will show us the correct weight of the bob weights. Begin by filling in the engine type, size, and other particular information. Match weighing the rods. We will be match weighing the rotating ends of the connecting rods first. We place the rotating end of the rod on the car rod adapter and the reciprocating end of the rod on the hanging device. Now eyeball the center line of the rod to see if it is hanging level. If not, adjust the hanging device. Weigh each big end to find the lightest one. Now place the rod with the lightest big end back on the scale and tear out its weight by pressing the button on top of the scale. The scale reads zero. Remove the rod and the scale now reads a minus number. Take the next rod and hang it on the scale. The scale will now show the amount of weight to be removed from this rod to match it to the weight of the lightest big end rod. Grind the weight off of the big end pad and re-weigh until a weigh value of zero is reached. Now repeat this weighing and grinding for the remaining six rods. You are match weighing only the big ends at this time. When all eight big ends weigh the same, record this weight, 394 grams, on the bob weight card in the two places where it reads rod rotating. Now that the big or rotating end of the rods match, we match weigh the total rods. We weigh them all to find the lightest total rod weight. We tear out this weight. Now weigh each rod and grind to remove the necessary weight from the small end. After all eight rods match in total weight, we subtract the big end weight from the total weight. This gives us the small end weight which we write on the bob weight card where it reads rod reciprocating. Match weighing pistons. After we weigh all eight pistons, we tear out the weight of the lightest piston. Now match weigh each piston to find the amount to be removed from each. On the type of piston shown here, we remove the weight from the pads provided on the sides of the pistons. When the pistons are matched, we add the weight of one piston to the weight of one pin and record this on the bob weight card where it reads piston and pin. Weigh one set of piston rings and record the weight. Then weigh one set of bearing inserts and record this weight where it says rod bearings. For a stock 350 crankshaft, you add six grams of oil. The total of all these weights, 1,860.5 grams, is the bob weight total, which you will add to each throw. You will make up four bob weights for a V8. This card is now complete for a V8. Don't forget that different engines require different calculations and use different bob weight cards. Making up the bob weights. To make up the bob weights, we use the four bob weights and the match weigh kit provided with the Pro Bow. The set includes 20 gram, 5 gram, 1 gram, and 1 half gram weights. We take the first bob weight and place it on the scale. Next, we build up two equal stacks of weights on the scale, adding more weight until the scale shows the weight from the bob weight card. We place the weights on the bob weight with the largest weight in toward the middle. Then tighten down the quick nuts. When you place the bob weights on the crankshaft, two things are important. First, 
you want to install all of the bob weights the same way on each throw. All the bob weights may be to the front of each throw, in the back of each throw, or centered, as long as they are all the same. Second, the bob weight gap must be equal on both sides of the bob weight so that the weight is centered through the throw. We use calibrated nuts where you dial in the number on one nut and then dial in the same number on the other side. This gaps the bob weight. After installing the first bob weight, then repeat the process for the remaining three.